Life's in range. It's the perfect shot. One arrow, it's the end of his reign of terror. The crimes against the people of Nottingham, Sheriff. You're rubbish, Daniel. It's my turn with the bow. I'm Robin. You're always Robin. I get the spawning piece of tree. Hey! Mark, get up. I told you I could do it. Nothing can penetrate it. Excellent work. What else did you expect? Unfortunately, the secret cannot leave the forest. Oh. Get him! out. You can trust me. I'm Lord of Loxley. Gisborne's up to something because I've been tracking him. I don't trust you. All right. Tell me your name. Daniel. Daniel. Do you know who I am? No. I'm Robin Hood. So what are you doing up there? Nothing. Playing. Playing with a nerd. Well, playing a loser. We didn't see anything, sir. You didn't see anything. Why would you say you didn't see anything? I won't say anything, sir. You'd be sure of that. Wait. We can use them. Send them to the mine. And send word to the sheriff. Success. Finally.
just once got my friends. He's got my friends. I can help you with your friends, but I need you to tell me what you saw. A man. They shot him, but he didn't die. The arrows bounced off. And then so guy I killed him with a knife. And how's it gonna kill my friends? Whoa, 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 whoa. The arrows bounced off what? Armor. It was wearing armor. Funny armor. Let's see about your friends, shall we? Come on. Okay. Well, you said chicken. Well, that's a pretty small chicken, Mutt. Yeah, again. And have you seen in the trees? No squirrels lately. It's not squirrel. And what happened to the vegetables, huh? All you eat is bread and meat. We're surrounded by edible berries and, and leaves. Where's the fruit, the salad? Salad? Men eating leaves? There's only one use for leaves around here. You wouldn't want to be eating them afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need to go. This is Daniel. His friends are in danger, and if I'm not much mistaken, so are we. What's up? It's Gisborne. He's creating a new armour. We need to take his toys away, so arm yourselves. Little John. Will. Alan the Dale. And you must be Jack. The Saracen. Wow. Sorry. Who are you? Uh, that's much. Oh, yes. The servant. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. What? Nothing. It's just I thought you'd be taller. I'm quite tall. But you know, like a giant. Men tend to lie about their size. You ready? Give me that. You won't be needing it. Come on, let's go. It's marks. See the M. It's good. We play outlaws. I'm Robin Hood. Well, I hope you're better at playing Robin Hood than I am. No. I let go of his hand. Gisborne's lot were coming, and I just ran. Well, then you did the right thing. Really? If you hadn't run, you would have been caught too. And what good is that? Listen, sometimes in the heat of battle, there isn't time to watch your gang's back. Wagon tracks. They've gone to Loxley, all right? Come on, let's go. See it then, the magic metal. Is it? Indeed. It's very thin. Thin? Yes. But that is its beauty. With this on, a soldier can dance in battle. Yes. How does it work? That is my secret. And I am the only man west of Jerusalem who knows how to make it. Oh, la di da di da Oh, ye of little faith. Come, I will show you a little of my art. Stinks like a Turk's trousers. To the artist, it is a beautiful smell. Here, my special ingredient. This, to me, is more precious than diamonds. I hope so. More expensive than diamonds. Watch. Mm. 
Don't cough. In breathe. Inhale. Enjoy. Water for the sheriff. Believe me, in time you will grow used to it. You will get used to it, my friend. Start production, I want 5,000 suits of armor. My lord, that is a very great undertaking. Yes, your fee is very generous. The king of France would pay double. You are indeed an artist. <laughs> Double. An inconvenience. But think of the game. An army of indestructible warriors. Put this safely in my room. <laughs> Gisborne, you started a family without telling me. My lord. Children. I caught them snooping around in the woods, my lord. Tell me they didn't see you testing the armor in the forest. Why didn't you kill them, Gisborne? My lord, I decided we could use them in the mines. We need extra labor, so. You see, just when I thought I could let you out by yourself to flap your little wings, you're going to show compassion. When there are people who know our little secret, those people have to die. Especially behind a cow. Mm. Not good for my constitution. Much. Shh. Locksley to you. No. Locksley's mine now. Locksley will never be yours! You last fool! I won! <sighs> Will, I need Alan and Jack. No! Go on. You want hearts and minds? But you'll never kill her! No matter how many people you kill her! No matter how many children you terrify, no matter how much armor you put on! Uh, 
You overestimate me, Hood. You know what? Sometimes at night I get one of your servants to rub my feet. I don't care if she has a heart or a mind! Right, step over there. Cover your eyes. I'll be back. Okay. Rescued by outlaws. No surprise. We fight. Take this. Defend me from above. Well, this should be fun. Where's Mark? You've left Mark. He's all right. We need you. Now. You lot, stay here. In. Go in. I'm afraid I can't let you keep these diamonds, Gisborne. And I can't let you take them. The Black Knights would be very disappointed. Then it's a stalemate. Shall we toss a coin for it? Not stalemate. Checkmate. <laughs> I'll see you. Thanks, Dan. Go! Go! Everyone all right? Who wait? Where's Daniel? He's back. Robin Hood. Just knocked one of my men out with a wooden box. Now you tell me it was not the box with the black diamonds in it. Five men and a boy. Hostage. Daniel. Robin Hood will be back. He'll rescue me. Counting on it. People of Luxley, let Robin Hood know this. We want our box and its contents back by morning, or his little friend will be punished. His little friend will die. Robin, we get the boy. No. No. We stop and we think, John. You've got to give him what he wants. Robin, take a look at this metal. It is Damascus steel, or, or something like it. A man wearing this would be invincible. Western weapons would be useless against this. I can't let the sheriff make this stuff. That's why I took the stones. We cannot give them back, Robin. I know. But we can't let the boy die. What do we do? My guard has gone for bread. We have two minutes. I heard about the boy. What do you want? The Sheriff and Gisborne are developing a new armor. It'll make him and the Black Knights invincible. We have to stop them. We can't risk the boy. I know. 
But if the sheriff defeats the king, then how many more lives will be lost? My guard, I will get the boy out tonight. How? Oh, you're under house arrest. I will find a way. That's the whole point of me being here. So if Marion succeeds, we don't have to do any of this. But if she doesn't, we need a plan. Right. We need to trade Daniel and the Black Diamonds in open space. And that's here. So when the Sheriff has the diamonds and we have Daniel back safely, then we can strike. You can't just nick him back, though. Well, he'll have the place surrounded, won't he? Might as well just walk in with your hands in the air saying, shoot me. We could destroy them. Well, we'll have to. We need something that burns quickly. Pitch. What about straw? Mm. Straw's fast, but it's not hot enough. Pitch. Wood? Wood's hot, but it's it's not quick enough. Pitch. Fast burning and hot. <laughs> Pitch! Good thinking, Mark. <laughs> I could make a new box. Choose the right wood, something thin. Could line it with pitch. Carry the black diamonds and that to the sheriff and... Well, you could shoot it, Robin, flame and arrow. And the rocks will explode. Good idea, Will. We'll test it in the morning. Much? Hmm? Hmm? Is this rat? <laughs> it's chicken. I can't see any feathers. Oh, we haven't seen any squirrels. <laughs> right. I don't suppose anyone round here has actually noticed, but I have to do everything you all have to do and keep this larder stocked. So if anyone else would care to run themselves ragged in the forest trying to catch us some massive animal, then you can be the servant. <laughs> Lord, I beg a favour of you. I have prepared a pass for you to sign. I need your permission to leave the castle. Why? You so decreed it. No, no, no. <clears throat> I mean, why do you need to leave? To visit Guy. Kisper. Wow. Well, he's had a bad day. I don't advise it. Hmm? He should have killed some little boys, but he didn't. He let them live, showed compassion. Now it's a mess. Hmm. Well, then perhaps now is a good time for me to offer him an apology. At this hour, And in your finest selves. I hope to make my peace with him. Please. Well, Missy. If it were me, I would slap your fickle face. Both of them. This is a pass for the castle gate, but underneath is an order to send Daniel back to the castle so the sheriff can question him tonight. Gisborne won't release him to us, but he will release him to a castle guard. I'll do it. Are you aware of the risk? If Guy catches you... Don't worry. He'll be putty in my hands. You're a brave man. I'll go ahead. I told the sheriff I'd call on Gisborne, so I must show my face there. Good luck.
Forgive me. Marion, it's late. Why so urgent? I wish to speak to you about a personal matter. I'll send for you. Yeah, what is it? There is bad blood between us. <laughs> you overestimate yourself. I had feelings for you. I made no bones about that. But now, I feel nothing. And I have larger concerns, ambitions. But is there no hope of a reconciliation? I know you are a man capable of compassion. I offer. I offer friendship. Okay. What? I don't know. Marion, what is this all about? It's about friendship, that's all. No. This isn't about friendship. You want your freedom back. That's what this is all about. And I can't give that to you. You and your father, you've made your own bed. Sorry, master. There's a messenger from the sheriff. I should go. That looked friendly. You were spying on me. I was not spying on you. I was making sure you were safe. Well, I was safe. Well, shouldn't you be making sure Alan is safe? I've played my part. <laughs> Marion? This is the Sheriff's official seal. Who gave you this? Listen, mate. The fact you're standing there holding that means I've stopped robbing, right? I don't know where it's from. You know, I start asking too many questions, they're gonna blow my cover. You did well to bring this to me. Yeah. Oh, no. I think I'll have a bit more wine. Oh. So, your plans failed. What will Robin do? Well, if this doesn't work, it's a straightforward swap. Diamonds for boy. Well, Robin wouldn't risk the boy's life, not for anything. How oh, very noble of him. But well, there must be some trick. What's it worth? Pitch. In a box containing the diamonds. Boy runs free. Robin fires a flaming arrow and bye-bye diamonds. What will you tell Hood? Oh, that's easy. Just say I was tumbled. You recognise me, we had a fight. Which obviously I nearly won. <laughs> I left you for near dead, fleeing the manor, dispatching guards as I go. Good idea. Mm. What was that for? Believability. Alan! Shh! Quick, quick, let's go. Gisborne rumbled me. How did you get out? We had a scrap. I knocked him out. Unbelievable. Well, luckily, his guards didn't hear us, but we should scarp him before he comes to. Right, come on. Robin. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault, is it? We'll tell the others of Marion. It's Mark's pitch plan. Come on. Right, 
Hey, boy. See that? Robin Hood doesn't sharp. These people here are going to watch you swing. That's it. Well, I can see the sun. No sign of your saviour. He'll come. Hmm? Oh, well, let's hope so. Hmm? For your sake. <laughs> Robin Hood! Stay where you are, Hood. My Smith will meet you in the middle. Check the merchandise. If it's all right, you get the key to the boy. No, Sheriff. You can make the exchange. Otherwise, your archers there will kill me. And if they do fire upon me, my men will kill you. Out of the way, clear! Move, move, move! move. 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 Oh, la dee da dee da Right. Let's get on with it. Alan, Jack, take the archers on the left. You two with me. Somebody find me a box and put this woman inside it. Release him to me. I'll see that he gets home safely. Loxley, this makes no difference to you. You have my word. I accept these terms. Good for you. Go on, then. Now, the black diamonds. Not yet. Allow me to check the merchandise first. Sorry. You are, after all, as Lady Marion pointed out, a murderous outlaw. Hmm? Sheriff's guessed our plan. Unbelievable. Something wrong, Hood? <laughs> Gisburn. All yours. Children! Goodbye, Hood. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Tell your men to withdraw, Sheriff! Uh, 
Another exchange! The Black Diamond's for Gisborne! And you have a bound! Well, how long can you hold your breath? My lord, please! You, um, you seem to have overestimated Gisborne's importance to me. Make sure he's safe. Not even you would let him die. Um, I have everything I could want. Sherry! Oh, no, not again. Let him live. Who? Guy. Marion, what are you doing? I am asking you to reconsider. You are helping Hood. Quite the opposite. I'm reminding you that Sir Guy is your most loyal servant. Ah! Ah! My Lord, please! Let him die. He's a noble and a good man. He must be worth more to you than a sack of rocks. I will have those rocks. Then I will kill this man. Without him. Are the rocks really any use? Uh, no, no, they are not. I am the only man west of Jerusalem who can make them worth their magic. No! My Lord! Shut up! My Lord, I will get you more rocks. You'll be punished for this, Marion. Be no doubt. You'll be punished. Burn these. Saved my life. I'm grateful. I could not watch you die and do nothing. You saved Robin, too. That was incidental. Was it? Marion, I've been assuming that since Hood became an outlaw, that you have had nothing further to do with him. Was I wrong to assume that? No. Because if you were associating with an outlaw, the punishment would be more severe than house arrest. <laughs> the punishment would be death. Or would you prefer me to have let you die? Excuse me. Stay there! Wait, wait, wait! Where are you going? I cannot work in this environment. My dear friend, we could uh, make an arrangement to increase your fee. In France, they know how to treat an artist. your faithful servant. I was preventing you from making a mistake. You do not prevent me from making a mistake. You must be punished. I am ready for your punishment. Yes. But it's your father. Will you leave him out of this? Oh, I will leave him all right, alone, to rot in a dungeon until you learn to behave yourself. Hang on. Jack? Will? Good work, Mads. <laughs> you are now honorary members of our gang. You are our eyes and ears in the villages. And anytime you need us, you can call on us. And anytime you need us, call on us. That's a deal. We are Robin Hood! We are Robin Hood! <laughs> <laughs>